not just Bigfoots, but Yetis, Skunk Apes, and Sasquatch. Every year there's 12,000 sightings of ghosts. That's people who have died and being seen in relation. Every year there's 80,000 sightings of UFOs. That's unidentified flying objects and extraterrestrial abductions. That's 98,000 sightings of the paranormal. If half are fake and half are misidentification, that's 24,500 unexplained paranormal phenomena. These are the cases that we are going to investigate. We are the Hollywood Paranormal Detectives. Hollywood Paranormal Detectives have come to the Glen Haven Cemetery in Silmar, California. This area is known for moving statues and children ghosts, and as every cemetery, of course, the woman in white. Behind me, as always, you see Brian and Boom, but we are not alone tonight. Tonight, we're having tryouts. The Glen Haven Cemetery is a unique cemetery. It has no fences and is located deep in the mountains of Silmar, California. Tonight, trying out to be a Hollywood paranormal detective, we have Melanie, Barry, and Amanda. Why don't you say something about yourselves? My name's Amanda. I'm an effects artist and I like hunting ghosts. My name is Barry. Uh, I'm an event coordinator. I've had a lot of paranormal experiences throughout my life and I want to find out more. My name is Melanie. I'm a makeup artist. I'm from Colorado. I love the outdoors and I'm excited to ghost hunt. My grandfather was passing away and I was in my room with a bunch of friends just at our house and we had a lamp and the only way you can turn on and off the lamp is by touch. That's it. It's just uh, there was really no, besides the plug, there was no switch. All of a sudden, just randomly starts going on, off, random times throughout the day. Because even someone you love, when they pass away, longer they're gone, more you accept it. Yeah. So further your connection is to that person. It, so it, if it, someone passes right away, then you're, all that's between you is that, that slight wall. Yeah. You know, it made me feel a little better even with the loss, well, just personally. What I've learned and what I believe is that uh, when there's an earthbound spirit, someone who's passed, right after they pass, they stick around for a bit. Many times they watch their own funeral, and I don't know, it's your business, what you believe. Some people believe that they go to another place and all that But the bottom line is, many times they stick around before they make that decision, and that's when stuff happens, absolutely. You, or you'll see stuff, you'll see them. We're gonna get down to brass tacks and let's do this. I'm gonna send Boom, Brian, and Amanda, why don't you guys head down to the old Jewish graveyard, see if we can talk to that doctor. Um, I'll take Barry and Melanie, we'll go up to the Ashes room, see if we can talk to some kids or whoever else is up there. Sound good? Yeah. Does it sound good? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. All, right. All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> so we immediately split up to try our group investigations and give the new tryouts a taste of what we do. On the headstone, uh, we placed a Ghost Meter Pro. It's extremely sensitive uh, uh, equipment, EVP reader. And this is the Jewish section of the uh, uh, cemetery here. And this particular uh, gravestone, headstone, it's uh, Mary. Doing? We are ready to investigate. Is uh, Mary. Uh, I believe she was a doctor. And we've had some good responses. And as Brian was setting up and Amanda was doing her thing, Ghost Meter Pro went off, almost like she knew. One light is yes, two is no, and immediately she said yes, almost she was saying, hello, boom, because I've uh, been here many times. Yes. Oh, that, wow, that was, that, that noise went with the move of that. It did. You, it, you caught yeah, that too? I did, yeah. Yeah, nice. I can't see what year did uh, Mary pass. Can someone look at the grave? I can't see. 
1986. You've been gone since 86. A lot's happened since then, Mary. That sounds like a dude. I heard somebody over there. I've been hearing male and female spirits. Who's with us? I think I've heard my name, Boom, and something that sounded like Brian. Can someone say Amanda? Amanda. She's a lady right here. Anyone want to talk to me? Say hi to Amanda. I've never been here before. That's like a dude. Like, hey, hey, hey. Hey. Do you remember me, Mary? We've talked before. Okay, so we know you're here. You need some words, some clear words. Say something we can understand. I keep hearing stuff behind me. Yeah. In these bushes. Absolutely. I heard it too. Voices. Not animals. Voices. Ghost Leader just said yes when I said that. How many spirits are here with us? Say 14? I swear I heard that. Mary, is that you making the little red lights shut on and off? Yes. Thank you for responding to me. Ah. I just heard something. Yeah. Yep. That's you, female voice. I'm going to ask a favor for uh, any spirit. Over here is a meter that's extremely difficult to... Uh, Sometimes light up. We call it the K2. Can you uh, make that light up for us now? Let us know you're here. What about you, Mary? Mm -hmm. Can someone touch this device with the green light on it? I heard you say my name. I heard you say Brian's name. You responded to Amanda. Can you say my name, Amanda? Mary, remember that time I was here? It was about 3 in the morning, and there were several of us here, and we had all the our, our equipment on this little bench. You guys made all the meters go off for us. It was like the 4th of July. Can you do that again? Amanda, would you make sure you take a picture of that rock on the headstone? Do you see that little rock? Yeah. The si significance of that. That's it. That's like a female voice right there. Yeah, it does. Do you mind if I take that rock? Careful. Was that a yes or a no? What's the story with the rock? I like this rock. I think I'll take it. Oh! I'm kidding. I'm putting the rock back. Yeah, we're just playing around. I got the millimeter going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't steal your rock. Nah. Oh. That's a female voice. I apologize. I'm very sorry I touched the rock. Do you accept my apology? Yes. Nice.
This battery is draining super quick, by the way. Yeah. Like super quick. Yeah, I can feel a lot of spiritual things here right now. Very uncomfortable. Not in the evil way, just we got a lot of ghosts around us. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. Okay. Since we're not watching it, I need to move the K2 onto the headstone if that's cool with you. Absolutely. Because yeah. it could be going off behind us like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I just set it there, as I mentioned before, right. because we've had a lot of activity on that bench. I hear it too, Amanda. I hear like whispers yeah. and, and noises over here. They're not animals. No. Because yeah. there's, to your left, there's headstones. It's a kind of a ratty part of the uh, uh, the cemetery. It's not kept up very well. Do you guys mind if I walk over there and just no, I just do it. yeah, yeah. Let me just look at the camera. Oh, wow. Ooh. Amanda, I just uh, hold on for a second. Amanda, I just want to tell you, I just heard a word. Get out. <laughs> I just heard a man. A man say, get out. See? Okay. So I just heard, get out. And immediately, the Ghost Meter Pro went off and said, yes. Do you want us to leave? Yeah. Is that a yes? I think it was a no. Yeah. Do you want us to leave? Oh. I didn't like that. Y yeah, that sounded negative, Brian. It sure did. Yeah. That one gave me chills. Yeah, maybe it's time for us to go. And the, and the, and the, and the millimeter kicked up to a point, too. Yeah. You heard that, too, Brian? I did. Yeah, what, that did sounded... It here? sounded... Kind of evil. We got a, we got a nasty growl. Yeah. Just a little <coughs> made me think that uh, something doesn't have here. Yeah. Whatever's communicating with us, are you human? Were you human at one point? Now, when you ask that type of question, Amanda, you know what territory you're going into, right? I do. Okay. Is that okay? Well, I don't, I don't, as long as you know what you're, what you're... I do. Okay. But I don't want to <laughs> conjure here, okay? Yeah. See, I'm getting millimeter readings. I've never gotten millimeter readings yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're we're gonna we will leave if you give us a clear sign you want us to leave. Steven and Melanie and Barry over on the hard camera. We are in the ashes room. Um, let's all come on in here. We've already got the ovulus set up. It has already said mommy. What was the other words? Scent. Scent. And initial. Uh. And, it, and it just said Jesus. Wow. Which are all relevant to a cemetery. Melanie, <laughs> if you want to start trying to make contact, okay. do your thing. Well, this is my first ever investigation with <laughs> equipment. Um, I've been to a few places, Stanley Hotel, since I'm from Colorado, and um, a few other places, but I've never gotten to work with this kind of equipment, so that's a lot of fun. Um, we're in a cemetery right now. This is called the Ash Room. The Ash Room. Okay. And what does that mean? It means these are all ashes. These okay. are all little areas where ashes of the dead have been placed. So I guess I'm going to ask, is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us tonight? We have some devices that you can use. We're here not as family. But we're here as guests. So anyone here that has 
any unfinished business. Uh, we are friends that can help communicate that uh, through these devices or through sounds or even through whispers. We've, uh, Boom and myself, heard a whisper in this corner once before. Um, this is Melanie. She's going to try to talk to you. Or if you don't want to talk to her, let us know by making a device go off. And you can talk to me. Or if you want Barry, uh, somehow indicate Barry. <laughs> See, I'm sort of asking for, for help. Possible. It's possible they want to talk to Barry. We're going to do an EVP session, which means we're going to ask some questions. I'll ask a question. Okay. I'll wait about three seconds. You ask a question. Okay. I'll ask a question. All right. The lowest setting on the REM millimeter is going off. Is that what that noise is? That's this right here. Recording Steve Melanie Berry Ashes Room. I'm gonna hang it so any sound after this is authentic because I can't rub up against it. Okay. Ovulus said Pat. So I'll start with outside. Is that Pat outside? Does Barry look like someone you knew named Pat? Is your name Pat? Do you want someone to pat your head or touch you or hug you? And that's the only word you can find to the dictionary? Have you been in here for a century? We'll stop there. So anything after this is corrupted. Try another device. My favorite device is the spirit box. Now this, it is scanning radio frequencies. So every time you hear a, a ch, that is one radio frequency. Okay. It's like turning the dial really fast. Okay. Oh. So, I'm find something. I gotcha. So you should not be able to make out more than one or two words together because it's so fast. Gotcha. And one of this is two radios in one. One is going backwards and one is going forward. So I have two huh. radios going at the same time backwards and forward causing extreme static. Glance. Did you get a glance of us? Can you see us? Maybe we review our film footage and we can yeah. get a glance oh. of them. Did that say shut up? Or someone? See, that's something when I watch it, I could, that, that would be loud. Wow. Okay. So that was a voice that should not have been there. Can you just speak to us? Can you say your name? Amount. Well, there's three of us. How many of you are in here? You just hear a noise? Uh -huh, I did. I just heard a noise that wasn't the ovulus. And it kind of was like a mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It was coming from like... I thought it was this area. Yeah. Let's walk over this area. Are you buried over here? Are your ashes here? When was the last time someone visited your grave? I'd like to really point out how clear that voice was that we couldn't understand was and how there hasn't been anything for so long. Yeah. Soldiers. Wow. Mm. Okay. Now, were you in the military? Here, go off soldiers. They got things to ask. Okay. You were talking about, or you mentioned order, and now you're mentioning soldiers. So, to me, it seems like there's some sort of, I don't know, a, a, 
order of the soldiers? Were you, um, you know, a lieutenant or explain to us what you mean by those? So you take this. Okay. And I'm going to step out. Okay. And see, and you stay asking your questions on your own. Barry, uh, you step on in too. Okay. And I'll take the wide. Do you want to hold this guy? You stay with the handheld. Oh, he can, he can go with that. Yeah, okay. I'll hold this. <clears throat> Is there just one spirit in here with us? What is it? Deplete. Deplete like the screen. Did you deplete our machine? Yeah. The battery? <laughs> Do we need a new battery? Is that you making this machine? I'm sorry, tell me what I don't think called. they want me in here. <laughs> don't sleep her in there. Yeah. By yourself? Yeah, I think it's a little wide. But, uh, Kind of do your thing. Give her the others. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, it's just me in here now. Does that make you feel more comfortable? Is there too much of a male presence in here for you? Is there more than one spirit in here? Quite. Wow. Quite. Okay. So there are several spirits. How many spirits have communicated with us tonight so far in the ashram? Lav? Lav? L A V? Lav? Entire. Huh. That's interesting. I was just thinking that I'm not entirely sure how this equipment works. Uh, or we're entirely alone. Or we're entirely alone. Maybe you were reading my mind. Oh, this is very quiet. Let's go off that. Okay. Not obvious, the spirit box. Spirit box. This is the spirit box. It's all good. <laughs> rookie mistake. Rookie. Um, <laughs> uh, Jim. 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 Okay, Jim. Jim. Okay, can you try to communicate? Jim. How do you. G-Y-M or? G-I-M. Uh, J-I-M. J-I-M. Okay. Yeah. Um, Jim, are you our soldier? Which, um, did you fight in a war? We thank you for your service. Okay, now that we found Jim, let's do an EVP. Okay. Another EVP, see if we can get Jim. Automatic. Automatic. Recording. Stephen Melanie Berry, Ashroom, part two. Is your name Jim and you're a soldier and you're in this room? Or like I asked, is Jim a soldier that you wish you could say your last thoughts to? If you want to say your last thoughts, you can say them into this device I'm holding, and we will pass them on to every gym we can find. Jim, did you have a uh, son or a daughter that was a soldier? I suppose you could have a wife that were a soldier? Yeah. Alright, we'll stop there. Alright, we'll stop there.
I didn't hear anything. Uh -uh. I'll review everything. Okay, demon. Demon. To go. <laughs> That's well, fine. No. All right. Um, okay. That's good. Thank you, Jim. With both teams having successful investigations and gathering evidence, we regrouped, shuffled our teams, and went back into the field. Okay, so Millie, where we're about to go is an outdoor crematorium. Now, last time we were here, it was grown over. Two things. Uh, another ghost group actually got, like, hot spots. Not a cold spot. Hmm. A lot of times with ghosts, you can also get hot spots. To the right of the mausoleum here, uh, they got a, a hot spot. And then further over back is the uh, crematorium. Okay. Also, our own Steve and Brian, about maybe a year and a half ago, Steve heard, like, hoofs or like like a, a deer or an animal and it really freaked them out so uh, other ghost groups and our group have had experiences here uh, the one thing I can say about this mausoleum I uh, see uh, the crematorium we're about to go to the energy is funky okay. I don't know what why it's just weird we'll see if it's uh, oh, still overgrown maybe they trim the bushes but it's like a funky feeling okay. so let's go cool and, uh, Boom! Yeah. Get over here. Oh, I bet there's balloons tied to the grave. There's balloons tied to the grave. That was the scariest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you okay there? Yeah. Go ahead and shine the light over there. That is balloons, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. It had eye shine yeah, and it was yeah. waving back and forth. And I oh, was, wow. I was, I was about to. <laughs> 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 so, we're right in front of the crematorium. It's uh. Uh, uh, apple. As uh, we mentioned before, it's a little overgrown, but as I, I was telling the Melanie earlier, another ghost group has actually caught some hot spots. The mausoleum is there, and Melanie just made a, 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 a statement that her legs kind of feel warmer here, and then coincidentally, uh, the, the male meter, Brian, said it spiked to, what was the, what was the, the uh, spiked to a point nine. Yeah, so, and and there we go, we've got some uh, Ghost Meter Pro uh, activity there. We got a yes. Uh, everyone knows what a crematorium is. Uh, apparently, you know, it's not being used now, but at one time, we got another yes. Uh, it was used. Uh, we're gonna take some shots inside there, but in the crematorium, they've left the gas meter for the gas that they would fire up to make the ashes. Uh, it's still in here and um, all the guts of the crematorium are still in here so I guess theoretically it could be fired up and used now. Uh, the one thing that uh, used, okay, the one thing that happened to me on the mail meter on the way up I was looking at the graves and the mail meter said under. Uh, maybe coincidence. Who's going to know? Under. Gotta, gotta know. Yes. Can you explain to me how this thing works? Because I'm kind of unfamiliar with how the equipment works. So when you're saying yes or no, it's like yeah. If you blinking. get if you get a, a single flash, it's a yes. A double flash is a no. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. Yeah. And now it's not lit at all. <laughs> Highway. If you were to look at the meter, uh, Billy, it, it'll go yes or. No, or if you can't see the meter, the lights work as well. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Cool. And that is a Ghost Meter Pro, and it's extremely sensitive. Some people say it's too sensitive. So that's why I've got the K2 next to it. Okay. saw some movement over there. You saw a movement? Over here to the right. Yeah. All right, well, this, it seems like there's someone here willing to speak to us. Is there someone here willing to speak to us? There's multiple devices you can make yourself known. And you can give us messages in this little device I'm holding if you want to give me exact answers. No, you don't want to? That was another three, Brian. Yes and no. 
to the left of the device that's a fair. That was at the same time. Yeah. To the left of the device that you're making flash, there are two other devices that will register your presence if you touch them. Can you touch those other devices? If you speak to us, we'll be able to hear it back later in our recordings as well. Earthen. What? The word earthen. Earthen? Yeah, that's almost like, uh, like fire, ashes. Wow. Yeah, correlation. Like earthen's like an urn. Okay. Yeah, earthen, urn. Yeah. Ah, we've got some ghost response. Oh, you coming to talk to us now? Am I getting too close? Do you not like me this close? Green. Interesting. Was that a yes to green? the dogs respond. That's some serious coyote action. Yep. And I think it was beyond these trees is where Steve and Brian heard the hoofs or the footsteps. I didn't hear it. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 it. I was the brunt of the consequences as Stephen leapt backwards <laughs> and knocked and nearly knocked me down. Right. But he is he insists that something charged at him. Absolutely. Now, on the other side of the mausoleum, uh, I saw uh, another ghost group filmed it. You could hear oh, footsteps. No meter just clicked up to point two. Could you, Ben, put the... Uh, can you take the camera for a minute and put it on me and I'm going to fire up the spirit box? Sure. Yes. I see the... Oh, I see the millimeters on it, too. And we just got it flashing lights. Can you hear me? Can you talk to me on, on this box? Bree remains cremated here. Can you talk to us, please? Are you a little girl? Frankly, you don't sound like a girl. Bottle. A baby girl? I see you affecting the other meters. Can you talk to me, please? Nick. You got the name Nick? Yeah. Nick, are you here with us? Melanie, do you want to ask some questions? Nick? Hold on, hold on. You mentioned a girl. Are you talking about me? Is there a little girl here with you as well? How long have you been here, Nick? Nick, did you touch my arm? Something touched my arm on my left arm. Next. I felt it. I didn't want to say anything. Who touched Boom? Was that Nick? It sounded like Nick. Yep. Somebody's trying to be yeah. talkative. Yep. Are we bothering you? What was that, Brian? That was something. Paranormal. It said paranormal? Yeah. Nice. Can you say one of our names? I'm Brian. I'm Melanie. I'm Boom. Is 
better fuck you? I thought I heard Brian. Oh. Life. Your life is ended. Do you know you're dead? What's it like being dead? Amanda? Barry and myself, Focus, we have actually finally found the grandmother statue. I've been looking for this statue for a long time. This statue is the statue that watches over all these children. She practically looks alive. The baby looks alive. We are surrounded by child graves. The statue is the one that's supposed to move. It, I've heard it's moved around in the park. And when I was over there, it's where I saw the silhouette. There was somebody right there. Look, there's eye shine right there though. I saw something when you first showed There was the somebody light. right there, Isn't right that? there on that bench. No, they've got those little lights on some of the graves. But, like, I was up there, and as that car went by, I saw... Was it like a lady? It was like a silhouette of, like, a little boy, kind of. Oh, and, uh... He was sitting right there. Why am I forgetting your name already? Nice. Barry. Oh my god. Nice. I've nice. never no, seen no, anything no. in my life. Did you, you think you saw your first ghost? I mean, I... I saw a person sitting there. Yeah, I got, I got, good, good light. you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Nice. Where is, where, oh, I see it. Nice. Well done. Well done, Steve. Well done. <laughs> you think you just saw a ghost? I mean, if there's no statue there, then I saw somebody sitting there. Nope, nobody there, Steve. What was it, man, woman? Little kid. It looked like little about boy. the size of a little boy. Yep. Fucking well, there certainly Why does that have to happen? There certain, w certainly wouldn't be a little <laughs> boy out here at this hour. I guess it would happen when you agree, Gary. Whatever people are into. Um, <laughs> if you notice, we are all shining our flashlights toward where the statue is, but no one actually sees the statue. Well, it looked like he was facing the other way, uh -huh. and he didn't look like a person. I could see the white. If you can look from right here in the dark, I can see the white of the bench, right? Yeah. But what I saw well, was the. By. I saw the white of the bench, and it looked like a completely black little boy sitting on the bench. And I was like, no, well, maybe it's the light thing, but there's nothing there. Nice. Nope. Nothing, where, nothing anywhere near it. Well, damn it, why didn't you take a picture? Amanda, myself. This thing is creepy. This thing is. It looks like it's about it, to stand it up. It does. It looks it, like it's about it, to move. It looks very real. Let's do an EVP with her. Just me and you. Oh. And Barry. You know what? While we're doing that too, I'm going to put static device on her oh god I feel like she's gonna freaking grab me yeah static energy device now what does that do? It picks up static electricity okay. and it'll light up? it will light up like a rainbow I'll also put the classic of classics our K2 on it Thank you, Grandma, for holding our K2. Amanda, if you want to get on one side of her. Yes. Amanda, I'm going to lean on you, Granny. Oh, it's so terrifying. Yeah. Here's Amanda, here's me. All right. Start EVP. Hanging it by the string. When I was standing over there, and I saw a silhouette. Was that you? 
Did you move, statue? Are there any children pleasant present around us? If there's anything you want to say, you can say it into the little red light. Over there, and I saw a silhouette. Was that you? Did you move, statue? I swear to God, I just saw it move. Like the statue itself? Like in front of me. Are that there any children pleasant, present around us? That was weird. What happened? It's like head, it's like shoulders. Her like, head shifted? It like lurched forward almost. Like it was like shifting. Say, you say it into the little red light. Because I was looking right at it. I'm going to pause for this car. Like almost like she was repositioning herself. But very slight. I didn't hear anything there. That was freaky. I don't like that. I don't like that statue. Amanda, go stand next to it. Please. Oh, put, put, put your hands on her shoulders. Yes. Almost like you're, you're feeling. I can't. I can't. I think you can do it. Okay. Almost as if you were going to massage her. Now this is Amanda with her hands on your shoulders. Can you send a surge of energy through her or move so she can feel you? I don't feel anything. You really faced that fear though. You went over there. That's great. Can you make one of the devices you're cradling? Can you make it go off? Coyotes in the background. Attacking for audio. Coyotes. Freaking out. Oh god, it sounds like a massacre. I want to do a spirit box. It's really weird. Are there any spirits present with us right now? That was two responses. Yeah. Are there any children present? Can you laugh or talk into this little black box that I'm holding? If you don't know how to speak, can you laugh or cry? Or just make a noise. What? I heard that really yeah, clear. I heard that. All right, kids. Now's your chance to say something if you want to say something to us. Winkin' and Blinkin' are two little eyes, and Nod is a little head. And the wooden shoe that sailed the skies is a wee one's trundle bed. So shut your eyes while Mother sings of wonderful sights that be, and you shall see the beautiful things as you rock in the misty sea. Where the old shoe rocked the fishermen three, Winkin', Blinkin', and Nod. decided to do one final investigation of the big mausoleum on top of the hill with all three HPD members and all three tryouts. All right, tryouts. This is it. Mausoleum main event. Last of the investigations for tonight. 
We're here to find out if anything we've done tonight has led to positive evidence of life after death. Spirits in the room, I'm Steven. Melanie. Boom! Brian. Barry. Amanda. We're here to communicate with you. Some of us have been here many times, and some of us, it's our first time. Starting off, just make a noise and let us know you're here. I think we start with the classic of classic is boom, break out those dowsing rods. Cool. That's as old school as we can get. I'd like to uh, make a statement to the shadow figure that I saw here last year, right there in the corner. I saw you, you know I saw you. If you want to come back tonight, it would be wonderful. It was a shadow figure in the corner here. Uh, I don't know who was next to me. I think it was you, Brian. Yeah, it was the shadow figure went kind of just went out a little bit and then yeah, Brian's got the camera and we saw the shadow figure. So if the shadow figure is here, as Steve mentioned, we're gonna go old school. No electronics, no uh, lights and flashing bells and whistles, just these rods. A lot of dead people in here, a lot of spirits, look at that, you're already starting, you're already moving, we just had movement, so we know we got ghosts, how about making the other rod in my hand move, you just made that one rod move, let's make the other one move. Shadow figure. Ghosts, spirits. There's any spirits present here? Can you make these rods move? We just want to communicate with you. We're not here to harm you or cause you any discomfort. We came all the way out here just to speak to you. We know you're here, spirits. You made the one rod move. I can feel something going on this other rod. Like something wants, something's here. Come on, do it. Here, I'm gonna turn on this device. So while you've got that, I'm gonna give you the option. This is the word phonetic dictionary called the obulus. If you prefer this to that, say your name through this device. Does anyone have any feelings about the room? Yeah. What are you feeling? Um, it's like kind <laughs> of TMI, but I'm getting cramps, but it's not time for that. I was feeling a little shaky earlier, but it wasn't. It's weird to me out. Like, I know it's like a lot of information, but I'm just saying, like, it's not. Like, it should not be happening. Cramps? Cramps. Cramps. Yes. Oh. It's very slow. Now that you're understanding these, would you want us to reset them for you? Saw. Saw. You saw us do this? S-A-W. Paul, now I asked you to say your name. Paul, if that's you, can you point with these ovelets, with these little things I'm holding, can you point to what grave you're in here in this, in this mausoleum? Are you here? We obviously don't know your last name yet. 
think. We're think Let's think about it. Yeah. Let's see if we see a Paul. Is there a Paul in this room? Quick scan for the word name Paul. Word name. Paul, right here. Paul Mo. Going back there. Nice. Paul Mo, is that you? So you're here, Paul. Make this rod move more. And did you say think? Because it was think. Their names written on these east. It just said east. My camera just turned dead. It was not brave. I don't know. Yeah. Put it down the ground. I think east is behind you, Steve. Going to your left is east. But Paul's over here. Yeah. Worm. Mr. Gillette, is that you? Can you move the rods for us, please? Or is your name Paul Mo? The rod in my left hand is moving. It's like... It's hard to see because I don't have the, the light on, but I can... Can you straighten out the left rod to be parallel with the right one? Electric. Are you saying you refer, prefer the electric for the dowsing? I have never done the dowsing rods. Boom, you want to switch? Paul, or any spirit. I've been investigating since 1997, and this is the first time I've held dowsing rods. Can you make these rods move? Can you make me a believer in these rods? Heard. You heard that? <laughs> Not like a herd of wildebeest. I heard of wildebeest too. Okay, I heard that. Did you hear me make the proclamation? Can you cross these rods? Can you make these rods go away? Fifteen. Fifteen. Does that have some significance to you? We got a 15 at the crematorium as well. Yeah. It's very close. Yeah. I've been recording for almost 15 minutes. No. I feel a tingle in this right rod a little bit, but still no movement. You can feel, you can feel when they, they, they come through, so you feel a twitch a little bit. I felt a twitch. His wife died on her birthday. Say again. What? What? Her, his wife died on her birthday. Wow, that's August cool. 14th. Why? Recording. Mausoleum. Team and tryouts. If there's anyone in this room that's ever been in love, can you tell me the name of the person you loved? Uh, who here is angry, pissed off, mad? If you're here, come through. Shout, say anything. Let us know. Now, please. Um, are you here because you want to be here? Thank you for letting us be guests. We hope you're at peace, and we're just here to say hello and are here for information. Did you have any children? If so, what are or were their names? I got a yes on a ghost I don't know why they said yes. And a light yes. Holiday. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Is that the holiday that you're talking about? When we were speaking of somebody that you love? 
Shuffling, stopping. Mausoleum. Team and tryouts. I didn't hear anything. Did anybody? Mm -hmm. Did you feel like this corner? Yeah, I was like, looking like that. Because I felt a weird. Ah, right there. I too, in that corner. Who you got by? You check the cars. Man, guys, I feel like a thousand people are looking at us right now. I've never had that experience with that anything before. Well, let's ask them. Wow, strange. Like we got all these eyeballs on us. Strange. You feel it better, Steve? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Wiz. It's never happened to you before. You rarely get choked up like that. I know. Oops, I need spirit box. This one's wrong. Strange. Alright, Boom says he feels a thousand people talking or looking. Boom says he feels a thousand people looking at us. Both of you and I are feeling half felt something in this corner. Alright. During that EVP session. Was it positive, negative, neutral? Is there anything in this corner that can talk to me? Paul from earlier? The spirit of the old woman or the moving statue or the silhouette that I saw. A little boy, right, Steve? It seemed like a little boy. Or the soldier that talked to Melody and I. Or the spirit that was upset that Brian moved the rock. Any of our people we've encountered tonight, alive or dead, can you come through here? The Glen Haven Cemetery is a location we've been many times. The HPD has always come here and always gathered excellent evidence. And tonight, we brought three new people. Let us know what you think of the three new tryouts by commenting below on whatever format you're watching this video. Simply comment Amanda, Barry, or Melanie, and let us know who you think should be a Hollywood Paranormal Detective. Who do you think has what it takes? Thank you for watching episode 3 of Hollywood Paranormal Detectives. We have so many big locations and big investigations coming up in the next year. You can always follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and please subscribe to our YouTube page or email us with any questions. And always like, follow, share, spread the word about the show, and help it grow. It's the Blair Witch shot. <laughs>